Bridgestone. So, Bridgestone. Yes, so these are all the rubber trees. If the, win the windows were down, windows were down, you would smell the latex. We'll open the window so we can smell yeah. the latex. <laughs> It's not a nice smell. So, so Firestone is now yeah, Bridge, is Bridgeport. Bridgestone. Bridgestone. Yeah, where you get all your tires from in America. So when did they change the name and why? Because oh, I don't know why they changed the name, but they changed the name recently, like in a couple of years. Oh, it's probably yeah. marketing purpose, rebrand. Yeah, yeah, because okay. Firestone don't have a good reputation. Two different companies. I told you. So one probably sold it to another company. Yeah. So when Ellen Johnson got in government, actually the, oh you can't hear me? Is this on? Yo, your family. Your family, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes, y'all. Oh. Okay, so when Ellen Johnson got into power, You got to almost put it up to your mouth the way he did. Yeah. When Ellen Johnson got Thank into you. power, she made sure that she, amend the contract between Firestone and the Republic of Liberia because the contract did not favor Liberia at all. It did not favor Liberians. It did not favor the people that work on the plantation. Hey, Kala, um, Ka hey, Kala can, brother. Um, uh, oh, he can talk. He can talk. Well, I mean, we can't. Uh, we have too much competing audio while oh, both okay. of us are trying to record. So, okay. Kala, if you have anything to share, we can give you the mic oh, no, and you can no, no, share it. But when he's trying to go through the, 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 the history of. Okay, when I'm done now, pass it. But uh, yeah, we can't all talk at the same time while she's presenting. Okay. Oh, okay. No way. Okay, thanks. So yeah, the contract that was made in the 1920s with Firestone, it wasn't good. I think, um, I don't want to give too much information that I don't know that to be is the exact number, but it was something like one acre they sold it for less than a dollar. It was like maybe 40 cents. Yeah. It did not benefit the, the, the people who was working on the plantation. And at one point, um, yeah, sometimes I just, I have to bring stories that my father tell me because he lived in those times. In the 1970s, they wanted to build, uh, they wanted to remodel the Firestone homes and build a toilet inside the home what did the government say so his the person said in the government these people don't need toilets but we building the firestone employee from america said but we're building it for free then the government worker said so i should have toilet in my house and the country man should have toilet in their house it's not necessary so that was the type of thinking that was when the firestone contract we had that, we had that document anywhere I said my father says so. Yeah, my father says so. So we should take your word over my father's word, who was living in Liberia as a finance. He, 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 he was a financial officer. Yeah, uh, Carla, uh, how about when she uh, let her just finish and then and then let, let her pass the mic to you and then you can just like. Yeah, he can talk. Everybody give their experiences. Even even. Huh? Oh yeah. The thing is, there's some people in history that talk and say something, whether it's true or not. So are we not going to take their uh, side of the story or are we not going to listen to their side of the story? Huh? I two things being right. I never heard that story. I said my father told me. My father told me. And if you talk to other librarians, they would say, yeah, that was a common, that was a common way of thinking. That a country man should not have the same luxuries as the elite. When you say elite in Liberia in those days, not all elite were con well, not all elites were considered America. Some elite were countrymen too. So Firestone is a city in itself. Yeah. So Ellen Johnson, she had to like get an addendum. Ellen Johnson, the former president of Liberia, the first female president, she had to get an addendum on the contract. Is the contract the way it should be now? No, but at least it's better. Because at first, like when I first came here in 2003 to the Firestone Plantation, because even though the war was still in operation, 
the Firestone Plantation, nobody touch it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this is like American property right here. Hey, man, so it, the oh, yeah, what's the question? Uh, yes, it's uh, Firestone, which is now, you said Bridgestone? Yes. Firestone yes. to Bridgestone. To right. see school children walking in school uniform, it was very hard. Like you would actually see school kids walking with buckets and a stick. Yeah, they would have the stick on their neck and they would hold yeah. with buckets. Firestone at the time, they could have provided up to date, you know, up to date technology. But no, they weren't doing it. And at that time in 2003, they were getting only $1 a day. And the amount of pounds that these people had to produce these families. Yeah, $1 a day in 2003. And the work is hard. So at that time, oh, let me use the microphone, sorry. At that time, the amount of pounds that they have to produce and turn it in to get that dollar, it was too much for one man. So usually they would have their wife and children help them out just for that one dollar a day. So Ellen Johnson, when she got into power, she made sure that that had to be changed. Good job, Ellen. Yeah. So that's one thing I can say. Yeah, like Holly said, she probably took bribe. Nobody's denying that, but at least she changed it. It's Africa. Everybody take bribe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Kala, you want to elaborate? Them little houses over there. Okay, the brick houses. 